Well, you're saying you don't disagree with his COVID policies, but in in terms of no, like, it was the way is the way he like. He, <coughs> I'm sorry. He was weak during COVID because he kept agreeing, disagreeing with what they were saying, just trying to make Labour look good. That was that was a poor. He was urging. He was making. pressuring the government to do more. Freedom Day. What did he call it? Reckless. <laughs> Fucking Belen. I will oh, never no. forget that. Even when I'm on my fucking deathbed, I will remember that Keir Starmer, when when rights and liberties were given back to the British public, Keir fucking Starmer called it reckless. I will never but, but forget that. thing. No, right now, the even though the Tories keep fucking... The, the, they keep shooting themselves in the foot, they're in a better position because most of... Most Labour people that I've spoken to don't like Keir Starmer, and until they get a leader that is representative majority of the community, I don't think they will though, because th no, and Labour I mean. is so divided. You've got the Corbynists yeah. and you've got the Blair people, and mm. then you've got people that are in the middle. Like yeah. it's so. Whereas Conservatives tend to all just agree. The right wing is yeah, they all just mm. tend to get. If they disagree, they can put it. You know, they yeah, can be put it behind. They can, so they can it come out. together. Yeah. But the left is the most divided movement ever. Mm. People constantly disagreeing about who's politically correct, constantly attacking each other to try and, you know, bring each other. It's just... And that, not, that's not, that's the problem. No one can beat productive. the Tories at this moment in time. I think, I think we'll definitely... I reckon Boris's majority is definitely going to be lost. In no, no, definitely. It's going to be slimmer, a lot slimmer. But, but I, at, I do, I do at, this growing, at this growing point, there's no one that can beat the Tories. And that is that's 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 one of the worst things I've ever heard. I mean, Labour aren't much better in my opinion, anyway. But like, that's been on. There's the years, no, though, there's no, since. there's no other party that can get a majority stake in our system apart from Labour or Conservative. And it's Cheap just party system. It's fucking shit. It's shit. Don't forget to follow the podcast on Spotify by simply typing in the Radical English Gentleman, going over to it, clicking that follow button and giving it the five stars if you do enjoy it. It helps more than you can imagine. Anyway, love you all and peace.